we're going to look into boundary options. So we usually get questions whereby users are asking what are these options and what are they supposed to do on a terrain boundary. Okay, so we're going to look into those um, options. For instance, the here are the options. You'll see under boundary options that you have the option to add a boundary and the option to remove a boundary. So this option to add a boundary is used to extract implied or stored boundaries from terrains with the ability to edit or rule the terrain boundary. Okay, so we're going to look into these options. Uh, for instance, when you go on add boundary, you see that there are different methods that you can use to add your boundaries there. So once the, end, uh, the boundary is added to a terrain as the edge method, the other methods of maximum site length and slivers are not available as they are overruled by the explicit boundary that we just added. A boundary added using this new tool can be removed using the remove terrain model boundary tool. Okay, so we're going to look into those options. As you can see here, the first option is extract graphic. So this one extracts the current boundary for the triangulation to an editable 3D line string. So I'm going to click on this option here so we can see what is it is going to do. And we locate our terrain there and we accept. And you can see that it has actually created our boundary there. And you see the level that I selected, it shows e terrain bank. So this is just a an editable 3D line string. Okay, so I'm going to undo this and go to the next option. So the next option on the list here is add boundary. So the add boundary extract the current boundary for the triangulation as an explicit boundary in the terrain element. And it is a locked boundary. So this one will just lock it over the existing boundary here. And then lastly, we have the edge ruled boundary. So the edge ruled boundary extract the current boundary for the current triangulation to an editable ruled trade boundary. So there it has created and it has created a ruled drape boundary. So those are the options. And remember, once you have created this, you can remove it using the remove terrain model boundary tool. Okay, so those are the options on your boundary option. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.